It is time to talk about number 19. Now remember, we are given that these are intersecting medians. Um, because we know that these are medians, then we know that we are talking about the centroid. Because we are talking about the centroid, we know that we are using the special property that uh, the centroid divides each median into a big piece and a small piece, where the big piece is double the size of the small piece. And also, the big piece is two-thirds of the whole thing, the whole median. And in, a, in the same way, the small piece is one-third of the whole thing. All right, so these relationships, these equations, are the uh, special properties of the centroid. So that's what we're going to be using. Now, sometimes, usually, when we have a centroid, um, you know, say if we're given the big piece, we'll split that in half, and then that will make three equal pieces that we can make equations out of if we need to. But this time, um, BG is 5x minus 1. That's the expression for the big piece. Um, there's no pretty way to split 5x minus 1 into two equal pieces. So um, we can't use that as a uh, strategy. So we're, we are going, going to have to use these equations sort of the way they are. So let's look at this. Um, BG. I've already mentioned it, BG is the big piece, so I'm just going to label this right now as the big piece. Um, that means GD here is going to be the small piece. Okay, so we've got the red big piece and the green small piece of the median. So it's a matter of which one of these equations am I going to use, um, but of course if I'm dealing with the big piece and small piece, I need the equation that involves the big piece and the small piece. So I'm going to start with this equation right here. So let's start from that. So um, we know that the big piece is double the small piece. Okay. So, the big piece is the 5x minus 1. Okay, so the 4x minus 5, that's the small piece. Okay, dg. The 5x minus 1, that's the big piece. Okay, so that means 5x minus 1 is going to equal two times the small piece, which is 4x minus 5. Okay, so the big piece equals double the small piece. So, that was the hard part, understanding that that was the equation that we have to set up. From there, I think you guys won't have any problem with this. Um, we're just going to solve this equation. So the distributive property here is going to give us 8x minus 10. And over here, of course, I still have 5x minus 1. I like to get my variables together immediately, so I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. So that's going to leave me with negative 1 equals 3x minus 10. Then I'm going to add 10 on both sides. So that's going to leave me with 3x equals 9. Of course, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And that's going to give me 3 equals x, or x equals 3. So that's it. That's how we find the value of x, x equals 3.